exact same thing. We know what genetics is capable of doing on this Yamoja, and, and then just the scaling of the carries and the Camelot Kings is incredibly strong. It's the Outer Town searching for their first win in the SPL, and the Camelot Kings hoping to avoid it this year. We'll find out what happens in game number one. That's right, it's the Elder Towns. The Camelot Kings are final set on this lovely Saturday in week two of the SPL. It's J Mac, Trelly, and Doug here to bring the action for that it's second situation for a moment. Sure. Taking a look at Quig, if we get a moment to maybe after this gank, double taunt in on oh Yark and Captain goodness. Twig. The damage between Oath and Quig is insane. Of that ultimate. Keeps the Eldritch Hounds from being able to push any further in. Shield buff is good, but now the turn of burn on to Benny Q. Ultimate still gets clipped by it, does Benny. He's still alive for a moment, but does go down to Yarkor at the end. And he cannot fire that burst off ultimate himself. Now Oath just narrowly jukes out the bomb. Dropped down by BMT. The four stack of the Camelot Ducky. Kings comes in full force. Ducky teleports in, though he's got the rotation. It looks like genetics is going to be the call. This Yamoja is the sacrificial. <laughs> Look at the rest of the kings. They're like, let's get out of here quick. No reason to try and help. Attempt. Can Captain Twig going for a steal? Big Man Tings also has a rotation. Bombs are available for Big Man Tings. Gold Fury is not going down particularly fast. Bomb just off the mark. Eldritch Hounds get the Fury. Big MT has to use the beats to get away from Benny be Q. Slowed down by the Astrolabe. The Hounds are closing in, and BMT is not fast enough to escape the Hounds. Grab themselves a second kill in the fight and an extra fury on top. While Variety decides to spend his time taking out a tier one tower on the right kills, side. But they're 2,000 gold down. Truly, what is happening right now? No, Captain Twig, he's being kanked in the jungle. Ultimate from Oath. One more auto. Couple more shots ought to be enough. Oath will get a fourth kill by the Riptides of Genetics. But that sets up perfectly for the Camelot Kings to go for an objective. Wild Hounds. We'll decide to bully Variety a little bit. He'll go down, kill for Vaporish Coast, but fire. objective, Primal Fury for the Eldritch Hounds, and Fire Giant, I'm sorry, Primal for the Kings, and Fire started by the Hounds, but maybe recognizing that Oath and Quick can't stick around, they go for the pick and say, a BMT used the beads and a river. Beautiful ult. We'll separate everything. Captain Twig walks in to get some damage, but it's going to be another kill, this time onto Genetics, killing spree. For Vaporish Coast, the Hounds have baited the Kings in. That was a beautiful Rivers Rebuke. I thought there was going to be some fight back. Oh, Whoa. what are you doing? I guess he Dying. just thought he was going to stop some backs and look for a more aggressive plays, but still some big burst Spider damage. Keeps getting pulled and immediately leashed back by the Kings. A couple of bombs to try and go for the commitment. The Pyromancer does get taken by the Kings. Ducky goes in with ultimate, but... Doesn't find a stun onto anybody. Old from Coast off the mark as well. It's Benny Q trying to pull people back. Variety stuck in the middle of three, but he's now pushed one back into his squad instead. Quig has no escape path out because the boulder is too clean from Variety. The Camelot Kings get Pyro. They get one and maybe more had there been some extra follow-up from BMT. Star Giant started again by the Camelot Kings. Who will step in on the side of the Hounds to steal it away? Benny Q's got... The range to do it. Drops it at the floor. What? Does take it away. The Atlas damage. The full damage. Atlas ult. 327 damage from the shot fired. And Benny Q steals away Fury. Or I'm sorry, fire for the house. But the Camelot Kings are defending even the tier wow. one here, J-Mac. They feel so strong that they win this fight. Benny Q. Oh my goodness. Damage through, but it's a massive pickup by Variety. What? The damage is just too much in genetics. We'll run for it with the rest of the team. Oath tries to distract to the back line. Benny picked up and Oath out. But Captain Twig oh is right goodness. back in. It's BMT to grab the double to punish from Variety and BMT. Just from the Hounds stepping forward. Now there's nothing the Hounds can do to defend. Quig sundered, pulled back. It's Ducky to try and bail him out. Finds a stun on Captain Twig. Dashes in, needs a couple more autos. Ducky can't get the last couple that he needs though. And now it's a regrouping by the Hounds under Tier 2, but there's five Kings running forward. I mean, Variety and Genetics are just not missing. This Phoenix is beginning to get sieged here. Quig is sticking around, just trying to give some CC, but it does not have the HP. And despite losing Fire Giant, is going to end up taking both Tier 2s, all three actually, and then getting a Phoenix. Used it while Genetics still has ult available. Now the Hounds... They're going for an awkward flank. Now with what? the rivers there, there's nothing Benny Q can do. He's stuck inside and everybody else watching from the outer walls. The Elder Towns funneled themselves forward and now are being picked apart by the Camelot Kings. It's two for the Kings. Elder Towns 
50 seconds until they're both are FG, back. They're not on FG, they're going in for your Phoenix. You can channel your backs now, too little, too late. And this Phoenix is going to drop down. And they'll have plenty of time to go back for the Enhanced Fire Giant as Should well. be dropping here shortly, but Ducky and Oath want to go for a steal. This is a chance. Oath goes in. Camelot Kings get fire. Benny late on the ultimate. But early on the escape to get out. Easy. It's, it's going to come down to one River's Rebuke. It's going to be a Riptide into a River's Rebuke. That's going to be the end of the Siege. Variety, I think, is in very little danger here, but it's going to eat some good damage. Oh, man, the rest of the Hounds are here? I thought it was just three. Everyone is here now. The Camelot Kings just left Variety on his own. Benny Q is going to beat Aegis, and now the Camelot Kings are sieging forward. They want to take this fight. Genetics ult down. Meanwhile, Ducky 2v1. Oat standing by. Another round, and now it comes down to the commit of the start. Let's see. I mean, the, the Elder Towns, they want this fight, but the Camelot Kings, I didn't see any retreating. They were stepping forward. Oath jumps Benny. in, finds the beads off of Big Man Tings, and here comes the flank from Benny Q. Not going to find much. Doesn't get anybody. Good wild hunt from Coast. Ultimate from Benny. Thrown on onto the floor. It's shields from Genetics. Going to mute out most of the damage, but now they force Coast in danger. Boulder's got to be Aegis away. Coast lives through, but not Oath. He is stuck in the middle of five because Variety has rejoined the fray. That teleport upgraded, brought right back. And Quig will be chased out. No way that support can make it back to base. Looks like that's the call. At least one bird. Ducky and Benny Q are here oh. with the defense, though. Oh, no. no. And I lied. Benny Q is oh, not there no. for the defense. He is gone. He just got he got hit by bomb, calamitous rod of Tahuti, bomb two down. Ducky ults won't stun anybody this time through. It's three alive for the Elder Towns of the Camelot Kings. Quig is still Kings. spacing Quig. We'll make sure to keep Quig out and take yet another bird off the table. And now finally, grouping towards the end call, it is just Coast and Ducky. The HP is not looking too good, but they've got plenty of damage and another pull from Variety. Quig finally made it back to the base, but unfortunately for them, that means that all the Camelot Kings have shown up in full force. And the Camelot Kings, 33 minutes to get it done. They take care of the Hounds. And keep the Eldritch Hounds, what we saw in game one is what we've seen a lot of from the Eldritch Hounds in the in the games that we've seen them play in the SPL so far, and it's they can find their picks, can't turn that into objectives, towers, dominance across the map. They've been able to do so at times so far this year, have not been able to turn that into a set win just yet. However, have been able to win uh, a game so far. Camelot Kings, it's a tough ask. I suppose you're hoping Thor, Morgan, Serket, Cern, and Knox is the magic formula that gets it done. We'll find out if we got another Game 3 today, or the Camelot Kings continue their win streak in Game 2. The Elder Towns have got to stop the Camelot Kings here if they want a chance to bring themselves an opportunity to win their first set of the phase. The one, Ducky will be able to teleport back. Persistent teleport now finished up. He pulled him Ducky. off the wall. Ducky has not even been able to go back and finish the item, but he doesn't need to <laughs> when Variety's just going to stand by. And gets CC chained by Ducky and Oath. his first full item. Yeah, what, what, what can he do at that point, right? He upgraded the the relic. Captain Twig, though, has the beads. I was going to say, are you going to go for the old one? Your team's coming in like this. Yeah, you might as well. Dunk back in on top of Coast. The spin is there, and the damage from Yark is enough. The Camelot Kings turn a bad situation into a good one. BMT, portal through the wall. We'll He's going for it. fine. Throws out the ultimate. And now a well, dunk back in place by Benny Ten minutes in the game. Nobody's keeping up with the pace of this Giannis farm. Nope, and as they probably should. I mean, you just have so much freedom there. Captain Twig is going to take the ultimate here. Doesn't seem to be in too much danger. And it looks like Yarkor actually is going to fly in here, but Ducky makes the teleport. He's in the sky. Ducky dunks down. Only finds genetics there. Will get rooted out and silenced through, but Yark's autos are too much. And Giannis ult from downtown. Yark picks up the double kill. BMT setting up for a squad, a portal on top of Quig, who will stand for the triple kill for Yarkor, the Camelot Kings, in one fell swoop. Have knocked three off the map and go straight for the gold. That's what happened. I mean, the ultimate's off the mark. He doesn't have B Placed by Quig, so cannot go for the pickup push combo. Instead, the Camelot Kings, Captain Twig, gets caught out by Oath inside the jungle. That'll be a pick on the Captain Twig. Variety who trying to punish Oath for what's been done, but Ducky there for the bailout. Boulder on top, not enough, and so it takes BMT. And then through space and time to drop him down. Portal through, BMT will rejoin the fight as Ducky escapes. Side the yeah, map, Ducky. Ducky now has beads. 
So those those Anvil of Dawns can actually make a difference. And Captain Twig focused out again. Gets up to the sky before the Omen gets popped by the stun. Goes back in with genetics oh. and another Yon assault from downtown once more. BMT connects with a member of the Eldritch Hounds. Doesn't get the kill, but definitely credit to assisting there. Benny Q, stun on the BMT. Variety misses the push, misses the pickup. It's got the boulder though. And BMT plus one more auto from Variety. We'll net an extra kill, and it's a double for Captain Twig as well, who found a chase in the back yes, line. So much CDR. This Janus is ready to fight. Ducky does have good damage. Could find a 1v1 here. Captain Twig needs more than just a crit to take him down. He's got to have some good juke boots to escape. Dunk off the mark by Ducky. Captain Twig waiting for the dash, but he doesn't get it back in time. The hammer is good. Yark crashes back in, but Benny Q joins in as a Chernobog of his own. You wouldn't be able to tell looking at his health bar. Pop that heel right before. Crits for Captain Twig. Needs another little bit of damage. Nope, never mind. BMT will clothesline Ducky on Ducky's path out. Camelot Kings, maybe an uncharacteristic early start for these teams. Yeah, Mac, I'm going to ask you if you remember as Vaporish Coast takes a bunch of damage here. It looks like the chase down will ensue. The boulder a little bit off the mark, so should be fine, but the crits coming from Yarkor might be enough. Sunder, one more hit. Variety doesn't get it. Aegis, no, it's Yarkor. With the crystallized curse to throw on the floor. Put Vaporis down for another 35 seconds. Yarkor are going to hold back Ducky, who will go up to the sky, but Ducky's not very tanky. Will he land back in? Because Benny Q has joined the fray. Duncan from Ducky just off the mark and said he's stunned on landing. Pushback what? by Variety and Captain Twig returns the favor. I don't have that answer immediately to you, Trelly. Somebody will have the answer though for, well, not Coast. His answer is just accept your fate at this Let's point. Let's see what the fastest level 20 was by who and if he got picked up here. Quig surrounded by BMT and Genetics, not the two players you want to be Where's the old? This there point, it is. Misses this time through. Quig throws out. No, Yarkor joins the fray. And Captain Twig will take down Quig. Benny Q fighting back. But you can't out-crit the king himself, Yarkor. Unstoppable. 7-0 on the Chernobog. Boulder doesn't hit, but who cares? Because Captain Twig can dunk right in with the rest of the squad. Misses out. And then they get some coast keeps on alive. <laughs> but Big Man Tings with the unstable vortex. Yarkor shut down. Ducky goes up. A couple of levels from that one, but shut down immediately right back after. Variety, credit to that uh, kill. I'm going to imagine it's Tings just because he's got no Aegis. But it's going to take a few rotations oh, of, of his unstable vortex to confirm this kill. Portal through the wall. Yarkor is here. They're fighting for the kill. Yark. <laughs> Yark's going to take it. Yep. Yark says, bro, I, I died. I was on a seven kill streak. I need to start it back up. Number eight. Got to keep the minions out at this point. Quick what? tries to, but he sacrifices his body to do so. Down in the portal. Ultimate from the Giannis. There's a thousand to Penny Q. Big Man Tings is doing whatever he wants on this map. We see one fly from Benny Q, but now out of position. Yarkor goes up. Vaporous Coast does only make it to the fountain because of the Aegis. The Hounds cannot defend Phoenix. They take out Twig. Now spots it out with an ultimate. And that might just be the end of the attempt. And a call forward for the Camelot King. Sunder hits Quig. Variety pushes to get the bubble away. Captain Twig is there to cut off the path. Cap and Quig. We'll go down not to the boulder, not to the dashes. Those are caught out. It's a dash by Captain Twig at the end to seal his fate. That's one. Good stun there from Ducky trying to cut off genetics, but more so just going to slow him yeah. back. Oath now saw him cross over on a ward, but Variety stuck inside of the Phoenix. The Elder Towns are delaying time, but Genetics going to go in, finds out all four big man tings, eliminates Quig. Ultimate fire through just for good measure, but Benny Cube does take down Captain Twig. Ducky and the rest of the Hounds backing a little bit further away. One tap from BMT could spell disaster for anyone on the Eldritch Hounds. Or a couple taps from the Boulder Variety down to Vaporous Coast. The Camelot Kings are sticking around a little Variety. too long. Begging for the Eldritch Hounds to step up and try and stop this fire giant. It has been delayed, but Ducky can't even make it to the sky. No. The Boulder and Twig will take him out. Genetics roots too. And sends it for the squad, but Benny Q takes down Genetics by transforming into that Giannis. Oath gets a shutdown on BMT. That's the callback that they need, but Twig has picked up a double kill of his own. The question is, do you oh. wait for your team? Doesn't seem like it. They're just going to crab enhance Fire Giant on or so in that last night. Variety versus the entirety of the Eldritch Hounds. He'll push one, sets up. 
for the boulder and the tap by BMT and Variety will take down Benny Q. Vapor is coast fighting as hard as he can, but he gets picked up by Variety once more. Genetics will go ahead and take that one down. As another falls in the left side lane, it is only Oath and Ducky left alive. Sorry, it's only Ducky left alive. Never mind, I correct myself again. Oath able to slip on by, but BMT won't let it be for free. He'll continue chasing through that wall. Threshold to speed himself up. Oath turns around to try and go for the shot, but BMT just needs one hit to take him away. Will do so. Ducky left. The only one standing now for the Eldritch Town. And as soon as he lands, it is a stun from Captain Twig. Forced back to the fountain. The Camelot Kings, they play their food a bit at the end. Ducky was half his health from an old on BMT. <laughs> The Titan will fall, and the Camelot Kings clean it up 2-0. All of the Kings, get, get you a team that supports you like the Kings support teams there. They all put their hands up and cheered when that Janus ult connected from downtown. Didn't do much damage, but at the very least, he was there for and the end. And where we are in the phase, remember, only we're about a third, I don't know exactly, the literally about, a third. A, about a third of the way Tomorrow done. Tomorrow a third. With phase one of, of the Smite Pro Week here, and so... Standings a, a, a bit established, of course, plenty of moving when all the teams are only a, a win or two away from one another. But as the matchups get fewer and fewer and the win streaks get bigger and bigger, it's going to be difficult to catch up with some of the teams in, uh, in either of these regions. I want to focus in, unfortunately, on the bottom of either Division Myth, Eldritch Hounds, Gilded Gladiators. They're going to play in our first set of the day tomorrow. Yeah, I, I think there's a lot of really good matchups coming up, Dave. In particular, and... and you, you'd probably be able to guess which one I like the most. Uh, you know, which one? Which one tomorrow you think I'm most excited for? Oni Warriors, Jade Dragons. Oh. Sticks Ferryman, Highland Ravens. That's insane, Dave. I like the first set. Uh, Why oh, did you pivot away from it then? What do you mean? I said, I want to focus on the bottom of the standings in our first match of the day tomorrow. Eldritch Hounds, Gilded Gladiators. And you said, Dave, there's a lot of really good smite to look forward to. But I bet you can't guess which one I'm most looking forward to. Certainly not the one you were just talking about. Why do you think I didn't guess which one it was, Smith? Tell me why, and then we're going to close the show. Why are you excited for that one? You've been caught hook, line, and sinker, you fool. <laughs> Smite fans, you. I need to tie it off. I've been Dolson. <laughs> That's been Miff. On behalf of us, all the other casters, everyone back in production, thanks for watching, and we will see you tomorrow. <laughs>